So I'm Ashley, um, thanks for taking the time out of your day to join us this afternoon for this presentation. So I'm an education specialist um, here at Xero. Um, so I've been working at Xero for about three years. Um, so all things Xero, all things education, part of my role is to um, help uh, design and deliver content on behalf of Xero, as well as working with the great guys um, at Business Zone and the pitch as well and support them at their events. So what we're going to go through this afternoon is firstly take a look at how the cloud is really being used to make sure all of the information within the accounting is um, a lot more automated and a lot more up to date. Now, of course, if you're using and um, if the information is always up to date, then you can really use that to plan ahead and maintain the cash flow for your um, small businesses. So the first thing, small businesses are really important, not only in the UK, but globally. You can see here that um, 99, more than 99% of the 5 million small businesses in the UK um, or businesses in the UK are small to medium enterprises. 77% of um, small to medium businesses really um, drive around about 77% of the total job creation. So you can see how important it really is to drive uh, economy in the UK, um, let alone globally as well. So it's really important to make sure that small businesses are being managed correctly, and in particular cash flow as we're focusing on it this afternoon. However, all businesses do struggle, cash flow being one of those which we are going to focus on this afternoon, but that could also be recruiting the right individuals, maintaining stock flow. There's a whole host of different struggles and problems that businesses can encounter. Really interesting um, on, on designing this presentation, 56% of invoices um, from larger companies are paid on average 17 days late, so 17 days past their due date. Now that can really kind of restrict cash flow for small businesses and really inhibit their growth. And you can also see on this slide as well, around £32 billion pounds worth um, are owed to small businesses in, in late payments. And again, that's a huge amount of cash sitting there, what can really be injected into uh, small businesses to help their cash flow um, and help their growth. A really interesting slide when I was putting this presentation together um, from the Office of National Statistics is actually the enterprise or small business survival rates over a five-year period. So you can see there, first year, around 92% of businesses will survive. Going all the way down, when you span over to the, the fifth year there, only around 41% of small businesses actually survive that five years. And it's really interesting, and one of the things, in my opinion, that really will impact that is the cash flow of a business. So as you can see, my little friend Wilson on there. So the cash flow, in my opinion, is, is the key to survival. So the first part of this presentation, what we're going to really focus on, is how can you use the cloud in order to get the information into the accounts, automate the accounting process, which you can do a, a lot more these days with technology, which also has other benefits of freeing up time, so you can actually focus on planning your or budgeting and, and maintaining your cash flow a little bit more. But what we're really starting to see in the UK, um, specifically with Xero, is we've seen so much more adoption of UK banks. So you can see here some of our partner bank feeds. Now what this allows a business or accountant or bookkeeper to do is you've got the live data coming into Xero every single day. So for using that real-time information, you can then actually create the accounts from that data. As that's updated every single day, and as long as you keep the uh, bookkeeping up to date and you're always on top with the reconciliation process and when we look a little bit later don't forget you're not tied behind a desk with the cloud you can do it anytime anywhere you can be using uh, an application to do your reconciliation and by using that raw bank statement data if you know that you're always up to date with all of your bank statement lines you know all the information that you're looking at in your accounts is up to date which then has a knock-on effect because you can really make key and accurate decisions and uh, plan effectively um, your cash flow going forward and the health of your business. Mm -hmm. 